Welcome to my channel, baby. Sip sensibility. Welcome to my channel, baby. Sip sensibility. Hey, this is Sensibility Speaks. Thanks for stopping by and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. So this is really, really some tragic news that I ran across, and I'm sure that many of you have heard at this juncture. So Kiki Jabbar of Love & Marriage Huntsville reportedly passes away. Now, I saw this first on the book. I saw it on IG. Tisha had posted a message, and people weren't for certain who she was talking about because, as you know, her family experienced a tragic loss with the passing of her aunt. And Miss Wanda was actually on live when she received the news. But according to Urban Bell Magazine, Love and Marriage Huntsville star Letitia Scott recently grabbed the attention of fans with a cryptic IG post about her family wanting privacy as they grieve amid a major loss. Since Letitia did not at that time identify who recently passed away in the family, some took to the comment section to express their confusion. Regardless, Letitia still hasn't updated her supporters or provided any clarity about the statement. Interestingly enough, a YouTuber is reporting that it's Kiki Jabbar who passed away suddenly, leaving her loved ones completely in shock. Okay, and the YouTuber is Marcella Speaks. And, and according to Marcella, she said that she got permission from the family the Jabbar and the Scott family to disclose this information. And it is really sad. It's really sad. So go to her page and, and check that out. And that's Marcella Speaks. And Marcella is actually friends with Miss Wanda. She said that she recently received a statement from the Jabbar and Scott family. And it reads, It is with extreme sadness that we announce the passing of our beloved Kiki. She passed away peacefully at home, surrounded in love. She was a mom, a sister, and a great friend full of life, love, laughter, and she will be sorely missed. And this time we are asking for respect in all caps and privacy in all caps in our moment of grief while we process this great loss. I'm telling you, this completely took me by surprise. And I actually like Kiki. Um, I thought she was great for the show. I'm sad to hear that her children would now be without a mom and her husband, I mean, without a wife. And she's, again, as previously stated, she was a sister mom and she comes from a big family. But I can't even begin to imagine what led to her demise and why God called her home at this time, and especially over a TV show. And I don't even want to get too deep off into it. But yeah, it, it's truly devastating. I am so sad to hear this. I truly am. But my heart truly goes out to her family, especially the children and the husband and her extended family. I just have no words because I don't think she was any more than 42 or 3. And just from her lives and things she said on the show and during interviews, she had a lot of high hopes, goals, and aspirations because... I know she has two sons and a daughter. I think her daughter has to be about Tisha's um, oldest daughter age, what, uh, 13, 14, correct me if I'm wrong. Her son, I know he plays baseball, he plays sports. So I don't know if he's in his first year of college. And then she has a little guy who may be, what, six or seven. So I just can't imagine them having to pick up the pieces and go on. And I don't know if this is something that happened suddenly. Has she been sick because I noticed she hadn't really posted anything that I saw since around about Memorial Day okay so that's like a little shy of a month and a half so I don't know what transpired during that time but in any event um, may she rest in peace rest in paradise and continue to look down from the heavens above and wrap her arms around her loved ones because I know they're going to need her in spirit I know they're going to need her because I can't even fathom being a young child and, and losing a mother. I, I just can't um, imagine that. So anyway, I just wanted to say again, rest in peace, rest in paradise, and, and show the heavens embrace and greet you with open arms. 
All right, this is Sensibility Speaks. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye. I'm talking